Hi, my name is Zonza and welcome back to City Skylines. This is episode 8 of Blues Junction and in this episode we'll be building a new train station. This will be a terminus so the trains won't continue on from this station which is pretty neat because I don't have to like deal with designing it for you know different directions and having to make it look nice from all directions so yeah that's pretty neat. Anyway, this station is the, how would I say, it's basically one of the critical places for an expanding suburb. I don't think it will be like a suburb for long though, because it will probably expand into something like much more important, like a second CBD. And I'm thinking about making this like even a station for like trains going from this station to other areas. And so this station will be smaller than the main station because it is not the main station obviously. But it will still have stuff like a tram stop. Not like million tram stops with like the main station which has like platforms one which is used exclusively for like transferring to the train and two for for like you know normal usage and this will this will only have like one platform for trams or two because yeah this is two bay platforms so yeah this is basically just going to be a massive terminus Anyway, this station is, how would I say, yeah, it will be important for this area as it may expand over time. This area is, however, still dominated by smaller, smaller apartments as apartments are the only thing they built at the moment because it used to be like a poor area. Well, not poor, poor, but like, you know not well off, not important, nobody cared about it, that kind of stuff. So here there are there's some crossroads so there are like ways to get into the station because I used a Rico building which is actually a residential building but I don't really care because it just looks good and I'm going to use it. So I use these retaining walls to use as oh, as walls for the station and f I wanted to add a roof so people are protected from the rain so I tried to use one like industrial roof but and I, it was first like okay it had shadows but then when I looked under it, it turned out that these roofs had textured uh, textures from only one side. So I decided to use these station shelter structures, that's how they are literally called. So I just made a PO of them and made some of them taller so they could be used in like as larger roofs and not just for platforms. And I think it, I, I think it turned out pretty well because, yeah, it just works. And for now, this station is pretty dark. But later on in the episode, I will add lights. And I also added some billboards in there just so it wasn't like all gray and stuff, because it looked boring, and nobody really likes boring stations. So I added some billboards. I didn't have any like custom billboards, so I added those vanilla billboards, which I think is fine. But later on I realized that the lights for the billboards were actually like in the way of the trains, so I had to elevate them up. Which was kind of annoying, because now it isn't like visible. And yeah, now I, uh, 
I also added some trees around it so it wasn't like so empty because trees are basically the way you hide everything in city skylines and then I made it so it ends at a platform that is used for transfers at the main station which makes it the light rail line basically a cross down connector so it is like not like it doesn't have extremely high service well six vehicles is a lot but not that much and I think the tram line is going to be used mainly for like when there is like a diversion or some issue on the line on the train line people will just take the tram line and just use it as a way to how is it yeah basically a replacement service if I had like other modes like real-time I could even like add scheduling and stuff which would be even cooler but I heard that the real time is really a demanding mod so I decided not to use it and yeah. so the station for trams works and for this line I used the CAF Herbos I think these are from Boston and yeah I'm really mixing like vehicles like for most of the lines I'm using from I don't think I don't know if it's a Dallas or a Houston I don't really remember so next up I built this like airport tram line or tram connector which will be used when the airport is finally built we are only several like 10,000 and something population away which means soon the line will be used and for this line I used Siemens S70 vehicles but like three car vehicles so when I wanted like for them to go from the depot it like clogged up the traffic and it was absolutely crazy so anyway now I'm just like you know looking at at it and if it works and stuff and I also had to like set up limits so it doesn't like go slow I also changed the vehicle speed you know typical stuff also in the time we have left for this episode I would like to tell you that I'm working on a new series I I'm like in the super early stages of planning so don't expect anything fr about it anything much about it because yeah not really enough information because it's like I'm currently just imagining it during daydreaming or, and stuff you know typical for me daydreaming about video games so anyway if you enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe subscribing is the best way to let me know that you like my content and also I would like to thank you all for 100 subscribers you don't know how long I've been waiting to say that sentence so anyway I'll see you later and Slava Ukraini